Hey guys, it's me, Crazy Honda Chris here at Randy Kill Honda in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And here behind me is a brand new 2025 Honda Ridgeline. I'm going to show you some cool tips and tricks for hidden features and functions you may not be aware. So time goes on, you won't be like, I didn't know that. You get the full experience from the get-go. So let's get going. So one of my favorite things to do to pass time is second guessing myself. I love it. I do it all the time. So a prime example, as I get to where I'm going, I'm running some errands. I get out of the vehicle, it's off. I walk away, I get into the place. All of a sudden, that's when it hits me. Did I lock my car doors? Did I not? I don't know. I'm second guessing myself. So I'm panicking, trying to find my key fob, running out there, hit the lock button, make sure. But wouldn't it be nice if I could take that off my to-do list and just know when I get 10 feet away from the vehicle, it automatically locks? You can. It's called the walkway auto lock. Let me show you how to enable that, okay? We're gonna focus on the touch screen. From here, we're gonna go to the second page where you see vehicle setting. We're gonna select that. And then we're gonna go to keyless access setup. Select that. Then we have the walkway auto lock. You can see it's off. So when we turn this on, we turn off the car. We have the key fob with you. You shut the door as you walk away. No key left in the car. Boom, it locks all the doors so you never have to second guess yourself. Good job. Summertime is my favorite time of the year. The kids are so active and busy, we build a lot of cool memories together. But my least favorite thing about summer is when you open up the car door, you get in there, you're dying of sweat. It's hot, it's mucky after the sun is wailing on it, right? But wouldn't it be nice though if you could plan in advance maybe to let it you know, air out? Because you can with your key fob. It's super easy. You grab your key fob, you find the unlock button, you double tap and hold it. So let's try it out now. One, two, and hold. The longer you hold that button, the further down your windows are open from that point. So now the hot air blows right out. So there we go. Your summer days just got that much cooler. How cool is that? All right, so did you guys know you have a hidden key inside your key fob? It's actually been used for two things here quick. It's pretty nice and easy. So on the back of your key, if we can get this to focus, you see there's a little lever right here. You'll pull that up, and then you can pull the bottom out. There we go. We're going to put that in my pocket. Now we have a key shank. So let's say if your car battery's dead or maybe your fob battery's dead, you can't start up the vehicle. You do have a keyhole right here that allows you to unlock the door so you can get in and get your supplies. Now also, you can roll up your windows too. So let's say we actually roll down the windows, let it air out. Instead of getting it into the vehicle, turning it on and rolling up the windows, you just can put the key in the keyhole, double tap and hold. Now look at that. Everything comes right up. Closes up there for you. All done. Good to go again. All right, so there's nothing like buying a car than actually personalize it or giving you a little touch and make it feel kind of nice and unique to yourself. And a good way to do that is changing your wallpaper or your background on the touchscreen. So for example, you hit a little clock up here. You got a nice little clock face, wallpaper, background from that point. As you hit settings, clock face, you have some preset hard-loaded options. But we can take this one step further. Maybe you can put down your favorite pets, maybe kids, family, or maybe your favorite YouTube star. For example, you have a flash drive right here. You download your photos onto the flash drive, make sure they're JPEG, okay? And then from here, it's a simple plug and play. Plug it in, come right up, select add more, get all these options. We'll select one, select transfer, there we go. Let's add a second one. Why not? Transfer. And then we'll come over here. You can see those two options. You can select, hit save. So now that's always going to be up there when I hit that right up there. So you can take this out. Those are automatically saved. So if I come back, there they are. So let's say maybe I changed my mind. Maybe someone else takes over the vehicle. You can delete these two. You hit delete. Select what you want to delete, and then hit OK, delete, done, and you're good to go to the next time. I know there's a lot of mixed feelings out there about the adaptive cruise control. So, for example, my wife, she loves it. You can set your cruise control on, you can set the distance between you and the car in front of you. Usually you got about four options, you know, shorter, longer distance. And when a car gets in range, it slows you down to maintain that distance. And there's an option to have it alert you with a little audible sound to let you know I found a car that gets in and out of range. And when they get out of range, it automatically goes back to your cruise control speed. My wife loves it. Me, on the other hand, I don't because it kind of gets driving a little boring because it drives by itself. And those long journey drives, I kind of fall asleep because I'm not entertained. 
So the question might be, hey, the two drivers, is there a way to turn that on and off? Then also, is there gonna be a visual cues to confirm when it's on and off? And the answer is yes, let me show you how. All right, so we're gonna come over here to the right-hand side of the steering wheel. We have all of your Honda Sentine features right over here that you're gonna use for your cruise control. You hit toggle down, you can adjust your speed. But the big question though is, Chris, what's the visual cues between the adapted and your standard cruise? So we're gonna come up here on the driver's interface. You can see right now we have adapted cruise control, ACC, because we have a speedometer meter with an arrow locked in with the car in front of you. So that means it's adapted cruise. Now, if you want standard cruise control, that's gonna be the icon right there so you can visually see the difference. Now, to switch between the two, you simply come over to this button, you click and hold it down for a few seconds. You see it switches. Now, if you just tap this button, it allows you to select the distance between you and the car in front of you, okay? Now, when you have access to that, you do have access to your lane keep assist from that point. Now, if you don't want any of that stuff available, none of the stuff, cruise control including, you just hit the main button and you can't use neither of those now, okay? So there we go. So after buying a brand new Ridgeline, I see a lot of people find ways to accessorize their vehicle. Probably the most common one I've seen so far is gonna be a truck bed cover. So I know Honda sells a nice hard tri-fold cover, but then a lot of people don't know though is that there's a setting within the Ridgeline to when you hit lock on the key fob, it actually locks the tailgate. So you can choose to have that on or off. I'm gonna show you right now, okay? All right, so if you guys guessed it, yes, we're coming back to the touch screen. We're gonna go to the second page, hit vehicle settings. From there, we're gonna hit door and window setup. We're gonna scroll down to tailgate power locking. So if I enable this now, and I got my key fob with me, and I hit lock on the key fob, Boom, all the doors, including that tailgate, will lock now. You can walk away with confidence knowing you're good to go. Let's take a moment and talk about how to reset your trip odometer, okay? And the location and the controls. So we're gonna come over here to the steering wheel quick. We're gonna be using the little wheel right here to scroll up and down to select the items we're gonna push in the wheel, okay? So on the left-hand side of the driver's interface screen, we're gonna scroll up or down to range and fuel. Once that's selected, you can see there's an A with 8.2. And as you scroll down, you can see trip B. Now to reset that, you just push in the wheel, go up to reset, and then there we go. It has been reset. So once again, that's underneath fuel and range from that point. Now if you want to take this one step further and have it automatically reset on its own, we're going to come over to the touch screen, go to the second page, hit vehicle settings. Then we're going to go to meter setup. And you see you got trip A and trip B. As you can choose every time you refuel or when you turn off the vehicle or when you decide to do it. So there we go. Let's imagine you guys are out there on the water doing some boating, some kayaking, some fishing, whatever the case may be, that you're maybe afraid that you may damage or lose your key fob, okay? So the question is, hey Chris, is there a way I can actually lock my key fob in the vehicle so I don't have to worry about it getting wet or damaged and or losing it? You guys guessed it, yes there is. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. All right, so once again, we have to get the key shank out. So we gotta pull that little lever over and then pull the key out. It's a little hard to do one-handed. And there we go. Open up the door. Put it away as you see fit. Shut the door. Put the key in. Then one little tap over to that direction. It's all locked up. And when you come back, just put the key back in. One little tap to the right. We're good to go. That's the key to success.